Hello. In today's video we will show you two different ways to automate backups on FortiGate 40 OS. The first method I'm setting up now we'll refer to as the automation script method. You will first need to connect to your FortiGate via CLI. Auto script used to be available through the GUI but was removed in 623 onwards. Once connected type config system auto script to enter the automation script context. Then type edit, then in quotes the name of the script job you're creating. Type set interval, then a number in seconds for how often you'd like the job to run. I'm using 120 for every 2 minutes. Then we type set repeat 0 to allow the job to run indefinitely. Set start auto starts the job as soon as we're done. Then onto the actual backup script. Start by typing set script, then in quotes execute backup config. Then we're specifying TFTP to backup to a server but other options are available. Then we name the file and then specify the destination IP address of the TFTP server. Remember to close your quotes then hit enter then next, then end. As you can see because we set the start type to auto, the job has already ran and the backup of this firewall is now safe on the TFTP server. The next method is called automation stitch. This is a great method if you want to combine actions, while I'll show at the end. I'll set up again but instead of using the CLI, I'll log into the web interface. This is a demo firewall so I'll select later for this. Automation is found under the security fabric heading, so I'll select that then automation. I have none, so I'll select create new. Same as the CLI method, we start by giving the job a name. Then for this job I'll select schedule. I'll set the frequency to hourly. And then select CLI script for the action. I'll name this script something obvious. As you can stitch multiple actions together, we will want to be able to recognize it easily later. And then I'll enter the same script we used in the CLI. Click OK, then we go back to the previous screen. We can test our script by expanding the schedule section then right click on the stitch and click test. As you can see the screen on the right is now showing the backup. If I go back into the stitch, and select email from the actions list, you can see how simple it would be to expand this functionality very easily. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video has been helpful. If you like this sort of content give this video a like. If you have any suggestions for something you'd like to see, drop us a comment in the section below. And to see more content like this, consider hitting that subscribe button.